is your invoice um, dashboard. Let's go ahead and create one by clicking this little create an invoice button. All right, so this is the create an invoice screen. Okay, it's pretty blank. So the first thing we're going to do is click here to add our customer. And we're gonna type in some chick. And if the client name was not there already, we could go ahead and create it right in the screen, right at that time that we were typing it. Um, if we needed to edit the customer for some reason, you could. If this was not the customer you wanted, you just click remove and repeat the process. So over here's your invoice number. These are pre-populated. So this number is based on the last invoice that I created. It is editable. But unless you're reissuing an invoice or something like that, I can't imagine why you would want to edit this, okay? If you use POs, it would go here, PO number. And a PO is a purchase order, by the way. And the invoice date is here. You see this nice little calendar drop down for you. And the payment due date is here. So right now, this is set to be due within 15 days but we can change that to on receipt within 30, 45, 60, or 90 days. All right, so in order to continue here, we are going to add an, a line item. And so we have, some, we have some line items here already included. And let's say we were doing graphic design service, we would just start tapping, typing graphic design. And we could click to select this one, and we've already set the price. Our graphic design price is 280. Or we could create a new one. Like if we wanted, if it was a service that we had not already set up, we could type it in here, and then we can click create as a new item, and then you would create it. And it's a really simple process to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click graphic design. And so this. Um, item is created. Here is the design cover. This is the description of what the item is. Uh, and this would be a good place to put, you know, any extra details you might want to have to remind yourself or the client of what you're doing for them. And so we're going to do one graphic design, CD cover design, and um, it's for 280. If we were to change this to two, the numbers will change automatically over here see it changed to 560 if I change this back to 1 it changes back to 280 and it's that's our total due $280 and that's it then we're just gonna hit preview and this is what your invoice will look like to the client okay see how it has the information there that we just typed in so then this is your preview. Switch back to edit if you need to make changes or save. Let's go back to edit real quick. So we're going to come down here and hit save. Now, so we have invoice, this number, and um, the amount due is 280. It's due on March 7th. Our customer is some chick. It is in giraffe status. And it tells you here, this is a draft invoice and you can take further actions after you approve it. So if you needed someone else to be the approver on your invoices, this would be a good time for them to come into the system and review what you've done and click the approve draft button. If it's just you, you could go ahead right now if you know everything is correct and click approve draft. So our invoice is approved, it is unsent, so we have the option to go ahead and send it or we can mark it as sent.